I get a lot of questions about these gas equations, so I wanted to help out and answer some of these questions here, or at least point you in the right direction for where to find the answer. So, the absolute most common question that I get is when someone says, um, I'm trying to solve for Charles' law, and in your video, you solve for, say, V1, but I need to solve for T2. What do I do? In other words, you need to rearrange Charles' law to solve for T2. I've done uh, two videos on rearranging gas equations. You can find them by searching for rearranging gas equations, and that should give you all the information you need to solve for any of the variables for all these gas laws. There's another common question, and it's really two questions in one. The first part of the question is when somebody says, I have a hard time reading a word problem and figuring out which of the numbers should be, say, V1. What number should be T2? What number should be P2 or whatever? So that's one part of the problem. The other part of the problem is when someone says, I read a question, but I don't know which of the gas equations I should use, I, I should use to solve it. So you can get answers and help for both of those issues in a video that I made called Which Gas Equation Do I Use? And that should clear all that stuff out. Okay. So, another common question is about the units that you should be using. And I'll use Boyle's Law as an example. I get the question a lot that what should the pressure units be when I use Boyle's Law? What should the pressure units be when I use Gay-Lussac's Law or Charles' Law? Well, there's no specific pressure units that you need to use for any of the gas laws. The only thing is, both pressures, P1 and P2, have to be in the same units, okay? So let's say that we're solving for Boyle's Law here. It would be totally fine if P1 and P2 are atmospheres, just as long as they're both atmospheres. Or they could be millimeters of mercury, that's fine too. Or they can be in kPa, kilopascals, just as long as they are both in kilopascals. They can be in any other pressure unit in the world that you can think of, too, just as long as they're both in the same one. Now, the situation that won't work, not just for Boyle's Law, but for any of the gas equations, is if you do something like this, where P1 is in ATM and P2 is in kPa. That is not going to work. And what you're going to have to do then is you're going to have to do a conversion. Watch my video, Gas Pressure Conversions, and that will show you how to change either ATM or kilopascals so that they're both the same. Here, I can multiply ATM by a conversion factor, which will change it into kPa. But again, it doesn't matter whether you change kPa to ATM or ATM to kPa, just as long as when you're done, they both end up having the same pressure units. Now, one other related question is if you're solving for one of the pressures, what are the units for P2 going to be? Well, they're going to be the same as they are for P1. So if you're solving for P2, the units on that will be millimeters of mercury. Now, this isn't just for pressure. It also goes for volume and for any of the other gas laws. So that volume can be in any units, liters, milliliters, whatever. But again, both of them, V1 and V2, both have to have the same units. Okay, now one last question that I get a lot is something like this, where somebody will look at my answer that I get in one of the videos and they'll say, I got 301.921734 ATM. How did you get 302 ATM? Well, what I'm doing is I'm rounding all my answers so that I don't get these, these long, ugly numbers. I'm rounding my answers according to rules of significant figures, which is, a, which is a way that tells you how to round depending on the numbers that you use for your equations. So, if you're a little rusty on significant figures rounding, or if you don't know how to do it at all, watch my videos on significant figures, which should totally make the rounding techniques that I'm using, it should totally make them make sense. So that's that. If you have any other frequently asked, if you have any other questions, Feel free to uh, to send me a message, and I'll 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 try to clear anything up.